I'm Daniel Garner, one of the six members of the Lady Engineers Plus Two team participating in the 2018 to 2019 Source American Design Challenge. The other members of the team are Allie Jones, Courtney Phillips, Nina White, Justin Bartlett, and Lexi Jingris. For this year's Source America Design Challenge, we worked with Weaver ProPack, a nonprofit company that employs individuals with disabilities. One problem that ProPack is having at their packaging facility is accurately and efficiently kitting product. Kitting requires a Weaver employee to accurately count, package, and seal specific assortments of screws, nuts, and bolts. At this time, only the employees that have the ability to count and package the exact number of parts are able to work this process. Out of the 26 employees at ProPack, only four are currently working the process. With their current process, every kit has to be checked by a supervisor to ensure complete accuracy before they can be sealed and shipped. Here's Sorta Screw, the SAS for short, a system with devices that when put together allows all employees at Weaver ProPack to properly package kits. Now let me walk you through the components of the SAS. The SAS features a wood base, a funnel system with a spring-loaded sliding mechanism, and a set of interchangeable plates and bins. The quality control device incorporates a scale that measures the weight of each kit. It also uses verbal and visual cues telling the user whether to place the kits into either bin 1 or bin 2. To start, our SME Willie either sits or stands in front of the screw sorter. Next, he takes the preloaded material and places it into the shape-specific slots on the device. The bin and sorting plate system is color-coded. Each material has its own color and is labeled accordingly, helping Willie to operate our device without any confusion. If the user has any visual limitations, they can feel the shapes of the product and the slots on the plate and have no difficulties using the device. This is because of the fact the slots were designed carefully in CAD software and cut according to their precise measurements. After Willie has loaded all material into the device, he grabs a bag from the bin located directly to the right of the device. He then opens the bag and places it on the funnel on the bottom of the device. He pushes the funnel down, triggering a set of springs to release the material from their slots, allowing it to slide down into the plastic bag. Willie removes the bag from the funnel and places it onto the scale, which then tells him to place the bag into either bin 1 or bin 2. The corresponding bin will light up, helping to eliminate any confusion between the two bins. Bin 1 contains kits that are air-free and ready to seal, while bin 2 contains kits that need to be redone. Designing the SAS started when we got together as a group and started problem solving. The first problem we tackled was the sorting and packaging process. Right now, employees at ProPack use a sheet of paper with pictures with the screws on it to help the employees put together the kits. We set forth to develop a device that would both incorporate sorting and packaging. Our final device evolved from nine different prototypes, some of which sorted material from flipping, tilting, and sliding mechanisms. Our first set of prototypes enabled the user to load material into the top, then push the plate backwards letting it rotate and dump all the material down a ramp into a bag. The second set of prototypes highlighted a stationary plate where either a sliding or tilting mechanism allowed the loaded material to fall from their slots down a ramp into a bag. After testing, we saw that the sliding mechanism made it difficult for employees because they had to hold a bag with one hand over the funnel to catch the product. And they also had to push the sliding mechanism in order to assemble kits. All of our prototypes were tested by us at school, students in our resource room, or employees at ProPack. Our scale, along with our screw sorter, were designed with the vision of the device being used far into the future at ProPack. The screw sorter features interchangeable plates, making it easy to switch from assembling for kit A to kit B without wasting time. The scale easily complements variable kit weights simply by pressing a button labeled with the kit the user wishes to assemble. We have also designed both devices to accommodate any material that Weaver may need to assemble in the future. All that would need to be done is design another plate for the screw sorter and add another weight setting onto the scale. Not only is it extremely versatile, its rate of efficiency is extremely beneficial to ProPack, cutting an average of 18 seconds off their sorting process with the implementation of our device. SAS also helps cut down the time it takes to check the packets by 91%. A packet now takes 3 seconds to check rather than 35. Our system of devices has impacted Weaver and its employees in the following ways and is adaptable for employees who prefer to sit, stand, or are in a wheelchair. It is easy to train new employees with the use of color-coded shape-specific counting boards and bins, as well as a scale that both visually and audibly checks each bag. Now, all employees at Weaver can perform the kitting process, unlike before when only four could do it. Most of all, our SME Willie enjoys using our system, which has also led him to increase job satisfaction and production. Finally, the device is adaptable, allowing it to be used for all current and future kidding jobs.